Welcome students to class 5 maths lesson 4 factors and multiples worksheet 4.1. I have already covered factors and multiples in my previous video. In this video today I will be sharing the worksheet 4.1. Question 1. Find the factors of a part 12 b 30. Question 2. Is 12 a factor of 5628. Since 4 threes are is 12, you will check whether 3 is a factor of 5628 and if it is, then you will go to the next number that is 4. For if 4 is also a factor of 5628, then 12 will also be a factor of 5628. Question 3. Which of the following numbers are divisible by 2? A. 15, B 18, C 35 and D 502. Question 4. Which of the following numbers are divisible by 3? A 24, B 40, C 72, D 308. Which of the following numbers are divisible by 5? A 92, B 700, C 435, D 64. Question 6. Which of the following numbers are divisible by 9? A. 306 B. 72 C. 518 D. 104 Question 7. Which of the following numbers are divisible by A. 4 and B. 8? A. Part 274 B. 388 C. 564 D. 2120 Question 8. Find the first four multiples of a4, B9, C12. Now, solutions to this worksheet 4.1. Before you go on to see the solutions, make sure you have attempted all questions. A part was to find the factors of 12. Let us use the divisibility rules. We will only have to check up till 6. So, 1 is a factor of every number. 1 into 12 is equal to 12. So, we get 2 factors that is 1 and 12. Then we go to the next number 2. 12 will be divisible by 2 because 1's place we have 2. 2 is divisible by 2. So, 12 will also be divisible by 2. So, we can write 2 into what will be give us 12? 2 into 6. So, 2 into 6 is another set of factors. Now, let us check for 3. The divisibility rule for 3 was to find the sum of the digits. For 12, it will be 1 plus 2. That will give us 3. 3 is divisible by 3. So, we have to write 3 into something which should give us 12. 3 into 4 will give us 12. Now, now we don't need to go any further. Why? Because after 3 into 4, next number we will get will be 4 into 3. And in this multiplication method, we stop at a stage where we encounter a number which has already appeared in the multiplication. Like here, after 3 we will check for 4 and 4 is already there in the multiplication. These are all the factors of 12. Now, I had told you to check up till half and we have stopped at 3 only because 4 has already come in the list and I have explained you why did we not go further. If you want to check, you can check for 5. 5 it will not be there in the list. The last digits should be either 0 or 5. In 12, the last digit is 2. So, 5 will not be there in the list. 6 is already there. So, factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. B part, we have to find the factors of 20. So, we have to check up till half that is 10. 1 into 20 has to be the first one. So, I have written that. Then we will check with 2. The last digit is 0. 0 is divisible by 2. So, we can write 2 into 10 is equal to 20. Then we have to check with 3. To check the divisibility by 3, we will add up the digits. 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 is not divisible by 3. 3 is not a factor. We will check for 4. For 4, we have to check the last two digits. So, 20 
comes as 4 5s are 20. 4 and 5 are consecutive numbers. So, we have actually got the entire list of factors. There are no other factors. Along with the divisibility rules, we are also using the multiplication method. So, we don't have to go any further because after 4, we will check the divisibility by 5. And 5 is already there in the list. So, that means we have checked for all numbers. So, answer is the factors of 20 will be 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. And it is always good to write in ascending order. So, you start from here 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. Question 2 was is 12 a factor of 5, 6, 2, 8? For a number to be divisible by 12, it should be divisible by 3 and 4. Why? Because 12 is equal to 3 into 4. First, we'll check for divisibility by 3. For divisibility by 3, we will find the sum of these digits 5 plus 6 plus 2 plus 8. This gives us 21. 21 is divisible by 3 because 7 3s are 21. Since 21 is divisible by 3, thus 5, 6, 2, 8 is divisible by 3. Now, we will check for divisibility by 4. Checking divisibility by 4. For 4, we have to take out the last two digits that is 28. Number formed by the last two digit is 28. Now we will check whether 28 is divisible by 4 or not. 28 is divisible by 4. Thus 5, 6, 2, 8 is divisible by 4. 5, 6, 2, 8 is divisible by 3 and divisible by 4. Therefore 12 is a factor of 5, 6, 2, 8. Question 3. Which of the following numbers are divisible by 2? For divisibility by 2, the rule was digit in 1's place is divisible by 2, then the number is divisible by 2. So, in the first case, 15, we have 5 in the 1's place. 5 is not divisible by 2, therefore, 15 is not divisible by 2. I hope students, you recognize this symbol, 3 dots. This means, therefore, V part, 18. 8 is at the 1's place. 8 is divisible by 2. Therefore, 18 is divisible by 2. C part 35. We have 5 at the 1's place. 5 is not divisible by 2. Therefore, 35 is not divisible by 2. D part 502. 1's place we have 2. 2 is divisible by 2. Therefore, 502 is divisible by 2. Question 4. Which of the following numbers are divisible by 3? The rule for divisibility by 3 is sum of the digits of numbers to be divisible by 3. Then the number will be divisible by 3. We have 24. So sum of digits is 2 plus 4 which gives us 6. 6 is divisible by 3. Therefore 24 is divisible by 3. 40. So we have 4 plus 0 which gives us 4. 4 is not divisible by 3, therefore 40 is not divisible by 3. C part 72. 7 plus 2, that gives us 9. 9 is divisible by 3, therefore 72 is divisible by 3. D part 308. 3 plus 0 plus 8, it gives us 11. 11 is not divisible by 3, therefore 308 is not divisible by 3. Question 5. Which of the following numbers are divisible by 5? The rule for divisibility by 5 is if it has 0 or 5 in its 1's place, then the number will be divisible by 5. A part 92. We have 2 in the 1's place, therefore 92 is not divisible by 5. We can only have 0 or 5. B part 700. We have 0 in the 1's place, therefore 700 is divisible by 5. C part 435, 5 at the 1's place, therefore it is divisible by 5. D part 64, 4 at the 1's place, therefore it is not divisible by 5. Question 6. Which of the following numbers are divisible by 9? The divisibility rule for 9 is sum of digits of the numbers to be divisible by 9. So A part is 306. Sum of digits would be 3 plus 0 plus 6 which is equal 9 is divisible by 9, therefore 306 is divisible by 9. B part 72. 7 plus 2 equal to 9. 9 is divisible by 9, therefore 72 is divisible by 9. 
See part 518. 5 plus 1 plus 8 is equal to 14. 14 is not divisible by 9. Therefore, 518 is not divisible by 9. D part 104. 1 plus 0 plus 4 that gives us 5. 5 is not divisible by 9. Therefore, 104 is not divisible by 9. Question 7. Which of the following numbers are divisible by A, 4 and B, 8? So, divisibility rule for 4 is last 2 digits to be divisible by 4 and divisibility rule for 8 is last 3 digits to be divisible by 8. Here I have made a table. Let us take the first number, 274. We will take 74, last 2 digits. 74 is not divisible by 4. So, the number is not going to be divisible. Now, if a number is not divisible by 4, it will not be divisible by 8. So, we can straight away write not divisible. Here, 388. So, we will take 88. 88 is divisible by 4. Now, for divisibility by 8, we have to check the divisibility by 388. So, you can divide in the rough column 388 by 4. You will be left with the remainder. So, it is not divisible by 8. 564. So, we will take 64. 64 is divisible by 4. And 564, again, we will have to divide and check. Since we will be left with the remainder, it is not divisible by 8. 2120. So, we will take the last two digits, that is 20. 20 is divisible by 4. So, we will write divisible. And then we will take the last three digits, 120. 120 is divisible by 8. So, the entire number 2120 is divisible by 8. Question 8. Find the first four multiples of A part is 4. So, we will write 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 4 3s are 12 and 4 4s are 16. So, answer you have to write like this. 4, 8, 12 and 16. Next was 9. So, first multiple of 9 is 9. Second multiple is 18. Third multiple is 27. And fourth multiple is 36. How did we generate that? 9 1s are 9. 9 2s are 18. 9 3s are 27. And 9 4s are 36. The third one was 12. So 12 1s are 12. 12 2s are 24. 12 3s are 36. And 12 4s are 48. So multiples of 12 will be 12, 24, 36 and 48. This brings us to the end of the worksheet. I hope you enjoyed doing this as much as I enjoyed bringing this worksheet to you. Until we meet again, stay happy and keep learning.